Hello. C drama greets you. Chinese drama Hidden Love EP 17. Sang Zi was lying on the table, and Duan Jikshu couldn't help but get closer and poke her face. Sang Zi, who had not been asleep at all, quickly got up and blushed, accusing him. Duan Jikshu deliberately asked her what she was doing just now, but Sang Zi turned her head and kissed him on the face, making sure to clarify that it didn't mean she had any feelings for Duan Jikshu, she hadn't agreed to anything yet. Sang Zi almost fell for Duan Jikshu's playful and charming behavior, and she wanted to kick him out but he stubbornly insisted on staying. After classes, Duan Jikshu accompanied Sang Zi for a walk on the university campus. Coincidentally, their roommate was watching a football match nearby, so they joined in the fun. Zhang Ming twisted his foot while playing, and Wang Wang became very worried and went to his aid. Since Zhang Ming injured his foot, Duan Jikshu was called in as a substitute, and to their surprise, he showed impressive skills, quickly capturing the hearts of many girls present. While everyone was enjoying their holidays or internships, Sang Zi suddenly didn't know what she should do, so she messaged Sang Yan saying that she didn't want to go home during the summer break and wanted to find an internship to enrich her university life. She begged Sang Yan to talk to her mother about it, promising to help Sang Yan, who was being pressured to get married in return. However, Sang Yan firmly refused. He was afraid that Sang Zi wanted to stay there because of dating so he gave her a direct order that she must come back for the summer break. Wang Wang went to deliver some medicine for Zhang Ming's injury, and their roommate finally noticed Sang Zi's feelings for Zhang Ming. After finishing work, Duan Jikshu messaged Sang Zi, but to his surprise, she appeared beside him the next second, holding a gift and balloon saying she wanted to celebrate his birthday. Learning that Sang Yan and the others hadn't wished Duan Jikshu a happy birthday, Sang Zi quickly sent a message to Sang Yan. Soon, Sang Yan called to wish Duan Jikshu a happy birthday and took the opportunity to ask about the boyfriend Sang Zi mentioned. Sang Zi couldn't help but make a sound raising further suspicions in Sang Yan's mind. Sang Zi had no choice but to hurriedly hang up the phone. Duan Jikshu started picking on her again, asking if she really had no feelings for him. Sang Zi awkwardly replied that she had a slight feeling, and Duan Jikshu didn't react negatively or get angry. At worst, he would just coax her. After all, if others had someone, his little girl should have someone too. Sang Zi arranged a restaurant for Duan Jikshu, a mysterious dinner where she didn't let him accompany her. Sang Zi had booked the entire restaurant and then went to the kitchen to make longevity noodles. Of course, she was a bit flustered, and she even kicked Duan Jikshu out when he came in to see what she was doing. Sang Zi only allowed Duan Jikshu to take pictures of the noodle she made but he still ate heartily. Duan Jikshu closed his eyes and made a birthday wish, and Sang Zi knew what it was. She told him that his wish could come true because she had already agreed. She hoped to be by his side on future birthdays as well. Duan Jikshu didn't expect her to agree so quickly and immediately got up to kiss Sang Zi, a shy kiss. Sang Zi felt that today was special because it was the first birthday she celebrated with Duan Jikshu and the first day they were officially together. From now on, she would always be by his side. Duan Jikshu informed Sang Zi about his family situation, something he hadn't mentioned before. His mother passed away after being ill and his father was involved in a fatal accident and is now in a vegetative state. He had already paid the compensation. After hearing this Sang Zi felt deeply concerned. Today, Sang Zi planned to go to the library to study, but Duan Jikshu insisted on taking her to his own house to study and cook for her. If you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye.